Hi, I've got a fantastic story for you today about a king called King Darius. Now, King Darius was king of a country called Babylon. Now, at that time, Babylon was the biggest and the most important country in the whole entire world, which made King Darius the biggest and the most important king in the whole entire world as well. And so one day he thought, I could really do with some help to run the country. So I think I'll appoint a prime minister. But he thought, well, who should I choose? Well, there were a couple of men who had lived in Babylon all of their lives. They'd worked for the king all of their lives. They were really, really ambitious. They would have done anything to be the prime minister. But the king wasn't sure. And then he thought about Daniel. Now, Daniel was different. You see, Daniel wasn't from Babylon. Daniel had been brought to Babylon when he was a young child. But he worked for the king as well. Now, Daniel was different because, you see, Daniel followed God, which meant that Daniel always did what was right. And he was always very, very honest. Well, the king sat and he thought and he thought, who would be the best person? Who would be the right person to run my country? And in the end, he decided that he was going to choose Daniel. Well, the other men really weren't happy at all. They started saying things like, who does the king think he is choosing Daniel? He's not even from Babylon. What is the king doing? They were really, really unhappy. In fact, they were so unhappy, they decided that they were going to employ some spies to follow Daniel to see if they could catch him doing something wrong. So the spies followed Daniel. They watched what he was doing and they came back to report to the two men. They said, we've got some good news for you. Oh, yes, said the men. Each and every day, Daniel goes and tells someone all the secrets of the country of Babylon. Oh, wow, said the two men. This is amazing. Have you seen who it is? But we haven't seen them, but we do know their name. Daniel calls them God. Oh, no, said the man. Daniel's not doing anything wrong. Daniel's just, well, praying. And there's nothing wrong with praying. What is there? The men said. The men went before the king. They said, oh, king, oh, mighty king, oh, wonderful king, oh, glorious king. King, we think that you are such a big and important king that you should pass a law saying that no one should pray to anyone except for you. The king said, and he thought, I guess I am a big and important king, aren't I? So he decided to do just that. He got out a piece of paper, he wrote out the law, and then at the bottom he put a bit of wax and he sealed it with his very special ring, which meant no one could change the law, not even the king himself. And so then the men went and they followed Daniel to see what he would do. But you see, Daniel knew that he should always pray to God, that that was what he was meant to do. And so even though the law said he shouldn't, Daniel went and he prayed to God. And the two men saw what he was doing and they decided that they should go and tell the king. So they went before the king and they said, oh, king, oh, mighty king, oh, wonderful king, oh, glorious king. Because that's how you used to speak to kings back in those days. They said, king, we've got some bad news for you. Oh, no, said the king. What is it? Well, king, we've discovered that someone has been breaking your brand new law on the very first day it's been passed. Well, who is it, said the king? They said, well, actually, king, it's Daniel, your new prime minister. Oh, no, said the king. What are we going to do? What's going to happen? Well, they said, King, there's only one choice you have. You need to throw Daniel into the lion's den. And so that's just what the king did. Because you see, remember, no one could change the law, not even the king himself. And so Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The king watched as Daniel started to fall. The lion started to pounce. And then, bang, the lion's den was slammed shut. Well, that night the king went to bed, but he couldn't sleep. He just kept having nightmares all night long. All he could see was Daniel falling and the lions pouncing and Daniel falling and the lions pouncing. The king kept waking up in a big sort of thinking, what have I done? Daniel hadn't done anything wrong. Why did I do it? But all he could see was Daniel falling and the lions pouncing and Daniel falling. The king didn't know what to do. As soon as the sun rose the next morning, the king raced out to the lion's den. He banged on the top of the lion's den and he said, Daniel, servant of the most high king, are you there? A little voice came back. King Darius, is that you? Is that you, Daniel? How are you still alive? Then he said, well, you see, King, my God knew that I hadn't done anything wrong. And so he sent an angel in the middle of the night to close the mouth of the lions so that I would be safe. You see, God knew that Daniel hadn't done, any long, done anything wrong and God loved Daniel. And you know, the same God that loves Daniel actually loves each and every one of us as well. And actually showed how much he loved us by coming to die on the cross. Because he knew that we were separated from him by the things that we've done that are wrong. And so he came and died on that cross to show how much he loved us by taking those things upon himself so that we could be forgiven 
and we could be saved just like Daniel was if we put our trust in him. Well, the king ordered for Daniel to be brought out of the lion's den. And then he called the men before him and he said, I don't like the fact that you tricked me into getting Daniel thrown into the lion's den. And I think that something needs to be done about it. And so the king actually threw them into the lion's den. But the king then went and told everyone that they should trust and follow the God of Daniel, the God who saves. And you know, the Bible says that all of us should realise that we do things that are wrong and we should put our trust in him. And if we say we're sorry to him and put our trust in him, we can be forgiven and one day get to be with him in heaven, which I think is going to be the most amazing and incredible thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story about Daniel and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.